Hey guys, this is Premium Poppy. God bless you. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I know I am. Welcome back to Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Last time we hunted down a Zenogre. This time we're going to have a little bit of a longer episode. I um, I was thinking ahead and I'm like, you know what? Let's make this a longer episode. Just go on a few quests, hunt some monsters, and, and enjoy and have a great time. I'm using the Insect Glaive again. I know, I know. I use it quite a bit. I enjoy the weapon. What can I say? Um, we need to eat some food. I've had a really, really busy week. I am not going to lie. It was a really busy week. Uh, Monday I went to work, and by the time I got out, I was absolutely burnt out. Um, uh, for, before we do this, give me a second. Let, let's see what quests we're going to do first. But yeah, um, Monday I was really burnt out from work. Tuesday, um, a bunch of our young adults got together, and we, um, we played a bunch of board games and had a fantastic time. Um, we had some guests join us, and it was awesome. Hunt a Rathalos and, and a Zenogre. Okay. So yeah, there's a, a few quests that we could do. I thought about doing the Advanced Kezu quest, the Kezu Chaos, and the Uncorner the Market. I might do this quest first. Um, hunt a Rathalos and a Zenogre. When you hunt more than one monster in a quest, uh, they tend to be weaker than hunting a singular monster. So yeah. Um, but yeah, Tuesday had a lot of people get together. It was fun. Um... Ooh, ooh, that might be helpful. Uh, or this one, no. Yep, I will go for this one. We might have, um... We might have less, uh, thunder resistance and fire resistance, but feline foodie's gonna be helpful if we faint. And feline trainer will actually help us in leveling up our, uh, palicos. But yeah, Tuesday, I had a bunch of fun. Uh, we, I, I was supposed to go to work uh, Wednesday at 5 in the morning, and I, I, I did, but I ended up literally staying up Tuesday night till 12 with a bunch of uh, my friends, and we all had a fantastic time. Wednesday came along, and we had Bible study after I worked, um, and I ended up staying there <laughs> um, at the Bible study till 11.30 at night, just talking, having a great time with around uh, three other people. So it was great. Uh, Thursday came around and I went to a wedding. Uh, I went to a wedding. Um, it was it was really good. Saw some friends from uh, saw some friends. One from our church and one from actually back in high school when I went there. So it was it was nice to see them again. I hadn't seen them in forever. Um, yeah, it was it was fun. Oh, that is a Rathalos. I expect the Zenogre to appear sometime soon. Uh, oh, where is he? Oh, found him. I'm using the um, insect glaive again. Be well, because it's an easy and fun weapon to use, but also because I can mount this thing. Ugh, there's like a little hair on my bike. Oh, that did a lot of damage. I don't know how long it's going to take to do these quests, but... Yeah. My goodness. Okay. Fireball. We'll do that. And we'll try and get... There we go. We got red essence. Mount this guy. And we are going to go for the knockdown. He'll flail around a bit. I got Chicken Alfredo actually right in front of me right now. I was like, I'm going to eat some of this while I record. I don't know. I... I heated it up. I'm like, I really want it. But yeah, Thursday went to the wedding. And that was fun. And then um, I was invited along with like a lot of other people to another one of my friends, uh, ba uh, gen uh, baby gender reveal party, and it was fun. They're having a sweet baby girl, and I am so happy for him. I am like, I'm so excited for him. Uh, the girl is like a sister figure to me, and I. I have spent quite a bit of time with um, the uh, her husband, so it was a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed it. All right. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We could use flash bombs. I'm not flash bombs. Uh, no, are they flash bombs? I think they are. Yeah. If the Zenogre appears, I definitely am gonna want to. Um, Oh, there we go. Red essence from the feet, it looks like. I thought we would have dodged that, but we didn't. 
All right. I don't like that we're taking a lot of fire damage. Uh, nothing found? That was a waste of time. Come here. Yeah, Rathalos might take a bit of time to hunt. I know that, and I'm willing to accept that. But yeah, that was my week. Um, and now it's currently Friday night, actually. So, yeah, by the time this comes out, I would have went to all the events, and there we go. We mentioned it again. But I'm recording this right after the, uh, the gender reveal party, or the surprise gender reveal party. Uh, another one of my friends actually knew the gender of the baby, whereas um, uh, the, the couple who were having the baby didn't even know. They wanted it to be a surprise and find out. And it was a really cool way they did it. They actually took a gun and they they shot a balloon at long distance with like some explosive in it. And there was like a... I'm gonna say it was like a... A pink dust or something came out and it was so cool. It was unique. It was a very unique way to do it. I liked it. I really did like it. Um, we need to sharpen our weapon. And we need to heal up a little bit. Might go to area 5 if we can. Yeah, there we go. All right. Oh, Zenogre's right over there, too. And Zenogre sees us. Can we heal? Can we heal? Can we heal? Thank you, Kira. I appreciate that. We're healed up enough. Now we're heading back to face the Rathalos. I'm not too worried about the Zenogre. I really like the fight against Zenogre. Um, ah, watch, watch Rathalos go to Area 5. I'm going to take a bite of this uh, chicken alfredo. Oh, I knew it. Area 5. What'd I tell you? I'll have to use a dung, bong that, a dung bomb that we were given. Dung bombs are really good because they can actually make monsters flee from an area if you don't want them to be a part of it. We only got one of them, though, so we gotta be quick with hunting these monsters. I will admit, I do believe that the Xenogre will be able to... Alright, get out of here. Oh! <clears throat> Alright. We missed! You gotta be kidding me. Thank you for the extra health, Merrick. It is much pre- I mean, uh, Kira. Alright, got that. Got that. Nope. Go! I don't want to be uh, hit by the tail. That would have been bad. We're going to lose a lot of our potions and mega potions during this fight. I can already guarantee it. Yeah, definitely. As I said, there's going to be quite a few um, missions we're going to do. Whoa! He's already, f he's already uh, limping away. Wow. Okay. Maybe this mission won't take as long as I thought. He's going to go to Area 5. Uh, area 8, excuse me, right? Yeah, he's going to Area 8. Wow, I can't believe Rathalus is already weak. I mean, it'll give us more Rathalus materials, that's for sure. I'm going the wrong way. I got to go to this one over here. I still have yet to buy a new controller. I keep, I keep saying I'm going to buy a new controller, but I never actually have end up, ended up buying one yet. Eventually. Like, if I let go of my, um, I'm not even holding the analog stick. I literally am just letting it go, and my character's running on its own. And it takes a little bit to get a, a response time, so I, I definitely gotta get a new controller. Uh, eventually. <clears throat> um. But yeah, that's about it. We need to get more red essence. Thank you for the health, Merrick. I appreciate that. If that was you, Merrick. We got a third mount, which is pretty nice. Please shut up. I don't appreciate that. I also like how this bug's trying to come after me. He's like, oh, never mind. The bug just got swatted into a thousand different pieces. My goodness. There we go. Maybe I can go for a tail carve. Or a tail cut. If we can't cut the tail off, anyway. Oh, never mind. We, uh... We slew it. Nice. I know in previous episodes I have said slain. I mean, either one. Slayed, slain. 
slew. Oh well. <clears throat> I guess we it's slew because it was it's past tense now. I'm guessing Zenogre is gonna be in area five or area six. That's my guess anyway. There we go. Okay. Whee! Jumping all the way down there. Uh, right here, actually, in Area 4 is where you can find a Palico to hire. I'd, ew, I don't want you. You're blue. Not discriminating, but not my favorite color for Palicos. Supplies have arrived. Okay. Um... We still got easy flash bombs, so we might use them against an ogre. And while I'm at it, actually, I'm gonna take another bite of this food, because... Oh! Hi! An ogre just came out of nowhere! <clears throat> hi, buddy! Okay. That's done. If we can cut the tail off of an ogre, that's gonna be a, um... A little bit of extra money that we get. Or as any, I should say. There we go. Okay. Go for the mount. Come on. Again, I really like Zenogre, the fight. Well, I'd like it a lot more if I actually could land a mount on this guy. So I can actually hit the tail. Come on. Oh, that ain't good. Thank you. There we go. That's a mount. That's a good one. And we're gonna get some hits in before he starts f uh, thrashing around. There we go. Okay. I don't quite remember how much we get for the, um... For the reward for, um... Uh, cutting the tail, so... I do gotta use a, um... A mini whetstone again. Alright. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. Before he charges up. Alright, here we go. Oh, that did some damage. He did not like that. There we go. Come on, come on. Alright, jump up here. He's gonna lunge forward. He's gonna do a... Oh, yeah, okay. I thought he was gonna go for one of the, uh, the tail swipes. Where he, uh, jumps, like, backwards or forwards with the tail. I have to admit, I do... I, I tend to prefer Zenogre in, um... In 4 Ultimate... And the older generations versus uh, Iceborne and uh, Rise. I don't know why. It just I, I do. It's just one of those things. I'm like, I think it's a much better fight. It's it's more fun to play it against that. So yeah. Come on, come on, come on. go for the. There we go. Kira is uh, stunned, so that's not good. We do have max essence, so that does make it a little helpful. Oh, that did some damage. Wow, okay. Uh, Alright, go for the first aid med. Could use a Nullberry. Get rid of this Thunder Blight. Trying to think what else I can do. Use this. There we go. He did not like that. And we mounted Zenogre. Yay! Oh. Thought we could make it, but we didn't. Again with another thrash right after the last one. 
All right, come on, come on, come on, go for the tail, go for the tail, go for the tail. If we can just cut this tail off. I know it's possible, just might take a little bit of time. Oh, tail slam. Uh, mega potion, mega potion, mega potion. Uh, oh, we fainted. That is all right. We might have fainted, but we are still kicking. We definitely need to get better armor. Um, or we need to upgrade it a little bit. I think that's a shark trap. Yeah, it's a shark trap. Okay. I don't think Zenogre can be shocked. I mean, I, I don't remember. I haven't fought Zenogre in a bit. Besides last episode where I actually fought him, I never used the shock trap. Or, I tried to capture him. I've always used the, um, pitfall traps. I think it was in World of Iceborne. It's been a while. I apologize. <clears throat> Come on. No. No. I just placed that down. Don't you dare run away. How dare you run away? Wow, I... Alright, you know what? No. We're gonna, um... We're gonna use another whetstone. I, I really want to make it a goal to actually uh, cut the tail off. This chicken alfredo is really good. Honestly, I'm just taking it casual this episode. I'm okay if it's a longer episode. The longer the episode, the better. And the more fun it is for me anyway. Alright, come here. Come on, come on, come on. We really need to get... Um, there it is, red. I need to cut your tail off. How much do we get for the tail? Oh my word! 6,000 zenny just for cutting the tail off. That's worth it. That's a lot of zenny. Oh! Here comes Kira and Merrick with the double horn. Thank you. I appreciate that. And we got Thunderblight. Yay. <clears throat> uh, I really need to learn these monsters attacks more. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop being confused, please. Thank you. Mm. Oh, that is a lot of damage. Okay, I'm gonna go hide under here. Hide, hide. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, we are back. Maybe we can get a, if we can mount this monster. Um, we have one chance to defeat this thing. So. Come on. And of course we get hit. I know you don't. If I'm being quiet, it's because I'm trying to focus on, you know, beating this thing. Okay. I'll use another Mega Potion, just in case. Oh, hi, you came right out of nowhere. Alright, I'm glad we dodged that. That would've did a lot of damage. My goodness. Well, I, I do gotta admit, maybe Zenogre is a little more powerful, because Zenogre is, uh, supercharged, so... There is that. I, I can't really blame him for being powerful. Because he's in Area 7, I wonder if that's where he's going to go to rest. We should have saved the uh, the Shock Trap. Oh! Yeah, we should have saved the, the Shock Trap. I said oh because, you know... Um... Because the paintball wore off. There we go.
Okay, roll to the side. We did get a break on the horns, which is pretty good. I still want that tail. The extra, uh, the extra zenny will definitely make up for the, uh, the faints that we had. He's trying to charge up again, but I will not let that happen. Okay. Well, it happened. Okay, come on. Kira Merrick, where are you? Ooh! Okay, I'm running. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, okay, here we go. I'm going out to Sonoga again. I totally did not restart the mission. Like, uh, or the quest, I should say. But yeah, we're going after the, uh, tail and hoping for the best. If I'm being quiet, it's because I am focused. I am a man of sheer will and determination, even though I'm failing miserably. Instead of going for, uh, Feline Moxie, I believe, which uh, allows us to keep our health after we faint, I... No, that's Foodie. Feline Foodie. Um, I went for Feline Weakener, which weakens the monster during the quest. Oh, there. That wasn't good. Oh, we stunned him. Good. If we could just mount him again, that would be really good. Six Ks on the line, or six K Zenny, I should say. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! No! <laughs> come on, don't roar, don't roar, not yet. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. Keep going, keep going. Hey, there we go. Go for the tail, go for the tail, go for the tail, 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 tail. tail. That's that's the most important. Come on. What is my luck? Okay, we gotta use a, uh, a whetstone. That Zanooker tail is really, like, making our weapon lose sharpness. Alright, use a flash bomb. That didn't work. I thought that worked last time. Maybe it's because it was in its, uh, charging up state. That's probably why. There we go. Okay, I don't like that. We're really low on health. And I really don't want to risk fainting right now. Come on, Kira. Come on, Kira. Oh. If only Kira would heal us. Superman dive. We need to use a Nullberry. I apologize, guys. It's like I got a frog in my throat a little bit. Superman dives are saving us. Okay, now we can go after the, uh, the tail. Hopefully. As I said, this episode might be a bit longer, and I am totally okay with that. Nope. Sonoker is not having it. My goodness, what is our luck? This is the first time I fainted in this part, too. Like, literally, I, I just, I, this is my third time restarting this quest. Some quests are not easy, guys. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Just made it back. Alright. Now he's gonna run away. One thing about the Insect Glaive is that when you, um, go to, sh uh, to release your Kinsect, I really like how the Insect Glaive opens up. 
just that little teeny tiny bit of animation really, really makes it nice. It's a subtle detail, but it's really helpful. Not helpful, it's just, it's nice to have. And supplies have arrived. Of course they arrive right when I get back to the fight. Nope. And we're Thunderbladed again. At least we got some extra health. Okay. Oh, that ain't good, that ain't good. Thank you, Merrick. Or Kira. Kira, you're a real help. <coughs> Kira's like, I see you, buddy. I'm just trying to stay alive at this point. This is just a slaughter and a bloodbath. Well, at least we're hidden. I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> I could actually use this opportunity to try and mount this guy. Well, that didn't work. Come on, mount, 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 mount. Even in stories too, the uh, the Royal Zenogre that we had to face was uh, really powerful. No, no, not again. Okay, heal. I am honestly struggling. Thirty minutes later, it looks like he's getting a bit tired. That's for sure. Go for the tail. If we had, um... My word. You're using so many Mega Potions in such a little time. Watch of luck be that Kira is the one that actually ends up uh, cutting the tail off with the boomerang. Oh, double horn. Yay. More health. I appreciate that. Thank you. So much appreciated. One more. I also want to use a null berry so I don't get stunned. Just like that. Look at this dude. Oh, come on. Can we live? Can we live? Can we live? Well, at least we made it over here. Um, I am really shocked we survived that with that little health. Well, Kira is coming in clutch this, this, uh, this time. And there goes Merrick as well. My word, you guys. You guys are like oh, the OGs. You guys are great. Hey, I don't appreciate that. Come on, we gotta get Red Essence. Alright, you're going to Area 7. If that's the case... Rathalos was probably the easier of the two to defeat. I mean, if you went after the, um... If you went after Xenographers, that's a different story, but... Come on. Oh, okay. At least we made it to Area 6 again. We can get rid of the Thunder Blight. Uh, this is a little repetitive right now. I am not enjoying this fight. I do like fighting Zenogre, just sometimes it can be a little repetitive and annoying. Um, we need to get him away from the, uh, away from the, uh, the exit to Area 6. I like how he walks, though. It's very menacing. And of course, now we're Thunderbladed again. 
What is our luck? All right, come on, go, 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 go. There we go. Took enough time, but we did it, finally. <clears throat> Excuse me, my word. I gotta admit, that chicken alfredo is really good. <clears throat> All right, go for the bottom. Here we go. Maybe, just maybe, if I th if you think about it. Oh, that was a that was a a stun. I'm going to area six. I want to make sure we have one. We do not. Okay, that's sad. I was hoping we'd have another flash bomb, but I think I used it up. Sadly. <clears throat> I know we're fighting monsters that we fought the last two episodes, and I apologize for that, but I felt it's kind of needed. Zenogre is poisoned, which makes it a little easier on us, because he'll constantly take damage. We just destroyed that Apton, not Aptonoth, the, um, Alteroth. That thing literally was, like, shredded. What, did he just flinch from Merrick? Maybe he did. I know I'm just doing the same move over and over, but I'm just trying to make this guy, like... So I want to mount the guy. Oh, here we go, here we go. <clears throat> okay. Go for the Kinsect. Ah, we'll go for it again. Oh, we did it! Okay. Well, that was easy. I mean, it took three tries, but, you know... That was, I mean, Feline Weakener for the win. Zenogre Shell. Okay. We didn't get the, um, uh, Zenogre Shock Fur. We didn't get the tail, but that's okay. And Zenogre... Ooh, a Zenogre Plate. Ooh, isn't that a rare item? Yeah! A rare and intimidating trophy that seems to pulse with... Residual Fury. Interesting. I like that. We're gonna have to uh, restock our, um, our Mega Potion Supply. Metrolite Ore. Iron Ore times two. Iron Ore times two. Well, that was fun. I'm definitely going to go after one more quest after this, probably. It's currently 11 o'clock at night on it. Oh, no, it's 12 o'clock at night. Excuse me. I have my time set an hour earlier. I don't know why, but... Oh, well. Only three Zenogre parts? Wow. Uh, four. We got four. Okay. Not too shabby. 22 minutes to finish that quest. New materials can be traded at the Wiporium. Alrighty, I'll take it. Huh. Now what? Um... I want to see what items we actually can trade. Nargakuga materials. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. That ain't too bad. I mean, we do need to trade Zenogre materials, which I guess explains some stuff. We still can't do anything because we only we don't have any Rathalos webbings. That's okay. Let me go prepare for the next quest, guys. Alrighty, I am back, and we are all ready to go. I'm gonna do the double Kezu quest. So, advance Kezu Chaos. A lot of these quests are advanced, uh, meaning they're going to be a lot more difficult than other ones. So yeah, Kezu is a Thunder uh, monster that will give you Thunder Blight, so be prepared for that. And I do not believe there is going to be any theme with Kezu. 
So, yeah, that's going to be interesting. I did bring a uh, Nullberry, so that will make it a little easier. It's a good, it's a good thing that I uh, actually... Uh, I, I got hot drinks because I forgot to bring some. <laughs> All right. Let me get to area... Eh, you know what? Yes, I'm going to go to area 3, then up to area 6. Then I'll use a... Uh, once I get to area 3, I'll use a hot drink. We should be fine. Uh, the, the colder it is, the more st uh, of a chance your stamina will go down. It will it'll go down really, really fast. Actually, some of my friends tonight, or um, tomorrow morning, I should say, are going to the uh, affair. Uh, and I'm excited for them. They're going to have fun, and I can't wait to hear the stories about what they're doing. Um, one of the friends, actually, is visiting from college. Um, she goes to our church, but she was in college for a while, and she came back over the week, over the, uh, the week to hang out. And it's been really great to see her. Um, she goes to Bible college, and she's a wonderful young lady. That is a frenzied kezu. Okay. <clears throat> wow. Nope. Oh, I like that. I didn't even realize... Oh, I didn't even realize you could see the little electric thunderbolt things. Yep. Man, Ranzi Dikezu is powerful. And, of course, Zam might decide to show up. Thank you for the health. I appreciate it. Not a single theme. That's that's intense. That's Kezu no theme is really scary to think about. Like it frightens me a little bit. We also need to find some wyvern tiers. Um, one of what we have to deliver one wyvern tier anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a bit tired. I've been really busy, I'm doing so much work and a long week, stressful week. But yeah, I've had a I had a pretty good week. I I got to hang out with a lot of friends. I thank the Lord that I am blessed with such great people in my life. You know, sometimes we take people for granted, and when we take the people for granted that we're around, we start to feel lonely. We start to feel like oh, we don't got no one. But when all reality, we do have people with us and around us. We just have to learn not to take the ones we have for granted, because sometimes that's all we're gonna have for a while, and the Lord can't trust us with any more. Or any more things if we're not willing to accept and appreciate what we do have including friends or family or even materialistic things or even with what God provides us with if God wants us to do a certain thing like um, he'll give us a certain Wow well, that was close I thought we would have done it but we didn't if God uh, trusts us with something like uh, the, the man with the uh, with the talents that he gave to the, the different people he gave some talons to uh, three different people. He gave uh, one person one tal uh, two talons, another person five talons, and another person ten talons. I think anyway. And the person with two talons buried it because he was too scared to do anything with it. Whereas the the two people who owned the five and the ten talons, they went and made a profit and increased. If we are not able to make an increase with what the Lord gives us, then we can't be trusted with what we with, with what the Lord does provide for us. Another Kezu. I wonder if that Kezu over there is going to uh, get frenzied. Probably. It's a good thing there's a dung bomb over there. We that, well, excuse me, that we have. We need to heal. There we go. Kezu's gonna run. Heal, 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 heal. Oh, Kira coming in clutch. Come on. There we go. Man, frenzied kezu is not fun to deal with. There is a subspecies of kezu in this game. And I'm wondering if if it's going to be frenzied and even more difficult. 
I mean, maybe. Paintball that guy. Can we mount this guy? We can. Haha. -ha. And there we go. Knocked him down too. I think we broke a part off him. Oh, there we go. That's a lot of damage. Honestly, this quest seems a little bit easier than the other one. I think he's going to run to a different area, meaning we're actually going to be able to, uh... Yeah, he's going to a different area. Let's, um, sharpen our weapon. Okay, where are you going, buddy? I... I use this time to actually collect bones. I think he's going to go to Area 4. That's my guess. Area 4 or Area 9. Area 9. Okay. Man, that frenzied against you. That was difficult. Dude, I mean, it wasn't overly difficult, but it was just... It was fast. It was really fast. I don't know why we went to Area 5. But we did. Losing my voice a little bit. From uh, talking quite a bit. I had a long night. I had a really long night. It's currently 1.12 in the morning. <sighs> I took a little bit of a break in between um, when I paused the video to get supplies. So, I apologize for that. <clears throat> Double Kezu. Oh, hi. Come here. Oh. Stamina has increased. Yay. Come on, Merrick. Come on, Merrick. No. Merrick tried to help us and failed miserably. Merrick was like, I got you, buddy. And then he ran into it, um, into the, the thunder as well. All right, let's use another one of the first aid meds and then an old berry. That null berry was completely useless. I don't like no theme for Kezu. I mean, I, I, I do like it. It's unique. I really like it. I admit. No, Kezu with no theme is really cool. It's just really ominous and creepy. Like, I, I say I don't like it, but what I mean is, it, like, it's, it's scary. It's really creepy and scary. All right, come here. There we go. Oh, now he's sniffing. No, sir. Come on, go, go, go on. Oh, that's too bad. I mean, we're not doing as bad as we did before. Is he enraged again? Yeah, he's enraged. Kezu's tail definitely reminds me of Gy uh, Gypsorus' tail. I don't know if they were modeled after the same, like, you know, the same thing or whatnot. Oh, it broke its face. Alright, let's get out of there. Turn around and actually try and mount this guy. There we go, we mounted it. I wonder if the other Kezu is going to be, um, frenzied after we do enough damage. I'm guessing it probably will. Oh, be quiet, Kezu. Here we go. Hey, there we go. I think Kezu's gonna be in Area 6, maybe Area 7. Never mind, Kezu's right here. Kezu's right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that's the Frenzy theme. Yep, I knew it. Kezu would become frenzied. There you are, buddy.
Man, what is our luck? Come on. Alright. Um... Get a paintball. You're kidding me, right? What is our absolute luck? Okay, we need to heal. I know, I know. I'm taking a lot of damage. I can't help it. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. And we fainted. That is okay. Being 100% honest with you, like, literally, I just got back to camp and my supplies arrived. I'm pretty happy about that. Now, because Kezu uses Thunder, I wonder if we can actually, like, trap him in a uh, shock trap. I mean, maybe. I, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna uh, use a hot drink. This quest is going a lot easier than the other quest. Even though we did faint once, that was my own fault. I was being over aggressive and not paying attention to my health. So, yeah. Also, I do know that the, the smaller screen is a little bit, like, unproportional from what the rest of the, sc the, the big screen, like, the, on the, the what you guys see anyway. So, yeah. Like, the, the bottom screen, it's different than what it should be. Shut up, Kezu. I do like how there is a theme um, for Frenzy. I, I like that. Wow, that Kezu got angry fast and is really going all out. I do like the detail they put into the monsters. I really like it. Come on. There we go. We mounted it. Yay! As I said, this episode might be a little bit longer than the other episodes, and I am 100% okay with that. Okay, let's just do as much damage as we can. I know the tail will, will bounce off the tail, most likely, so... But that is a lot of detail for this monster. I mean, even for a 3DS game, if you think about it, it's just so much detail, I love it. Also, we're afflicted by the Frenzy Virus, so that ain't good. Now, because we have throwing knives, I don't think we get to keep them, right? Yeah, it's a supply item. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, Merrick, 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 Merrick. Okay, Mega Potion. Oh, that ain't good. Okay, here we go. Mega Potion. I'm gonna use two of them. No, actually, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. not. I'm gonna use First Aid Bed Pluses. Because they are Mega Potions. Oh, there we go. Then I'm going to use... A Mini Whetstone. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get rid of the frenzy virus. Of course, every time, Kazu, gotta love you, buddy. You're amazing. All right. Oh, now Kazu's running away. Of course he is. Where are you going? Alright, I guess area four. Come on. Ooh, Milex. I was texting on my phone, that's why I wasn't saying much right then. Come on.
So now we can't heal the red portion of our uh, health gauge. That ain't good. Okay. Can we mount him? Come on. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. There we go. We mounted him. And he's gonna fall down now. Yay! Again, might do one more quest after this. A little bit of an easier quest, but that's okay. Oh, speaking of which, there's a shiny on the ground. Be a wyvern tier, please. Paw print stamp. Okay, it's not a wyvern tier, but that's okay. Or 4k for the uh, just a simple wyvern tier. Can we uh, kill them or slay them? That was really close. Merrick and Kira both have Thunderblade. That's not good. Stop bouncing off, please. I thought we were going to dodge an attack, but we didn't. Oh, okay. Okay, heal, 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 heal. Okay, shock trap. You're kidding me. I'm, I'm gonna do it. All that time and he decides to run off now. Wow. Thanks, Kezu. I appreciate it. I literally placed down that that shock trap and a barrel bomb to throw it at you. I'm going to throw these knives at you. You deserve that. Yeah, I apologize. This is a little more relaxed of an episode, and I'm okay with that. Alright, there's Kezu. Come on, come on, come on. Nope, so close. Oh, now he's now he's limping away. My word, he's limping fast. Oh, we mounted him. Good. And we're healed as well. Kezu does not want to go down. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on, Conchu. Really? All my work, Conchu, and you're ruining it. Alright. Well, I guess I can get the Conchu parts. I mean... The, uh... It did run away. Um, the Kezu did. I think the area 6? Oh, the Kanchu disappeared. That's too bad. Alright, come on. I wish that bounce one would have worked, but it didn't. Do we just get a wait? Or, I mean, what if we, um, come over here?
Oh, it worked. How do I how do I jump off the wall? Stop running away, please. You got to be Oh. I I still don't know what that little red um glowing thing on our armor does. I really don't know. I wish I knew. I might figure it out someday, but today is not that day. But yeah, I apologize. I just wanted to make this a little more relaxed of an episode. Nothing too serious. Not a whole lot. Lo a longer episode. I, I did faint quite a bit, but that's okay. Again, I'm not a pro player. I'm just a guy trying to play Monster Hunter and enjoy himself. Bloodstone. Whetstone. Iron Ore. Matchlight Ore. Matchlight Ore again. Okay. Any else? Come on, any other ore? And of course they do the double horn now. Inside Kezu's body. They're like, Kezu, you made too much noise, now we're gonna make noise. Alrighty. All that juicy material and frenzy crystals. Yay! Capital Work Hunter, how about making a pot of tea? Maybe. Now that that's done, um, what else do we gotta do? Uh, Advanced Tiger, Tigrex Terror, okay. The Royal Guard, and we also gotta do that, um, urgent quest. The five-star, um, Yangaruga quest. I might save that for later. Next episode, I probably am gonna do the, um, either the Saltus Queen quest, or I'm gonna do the Advanced Tigrex, or Tigrex Terror quest. And I believe the Tigrex is gonna be, um, frenzied, or, yeah, so that's gonna be fun. So one or the other. Um. No, I'm wondering. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that um Kezu quest. I, I don't know if I explained it or not, but when I actually go to Chico Sands, the cowardly feline or the cowardly cowardly palico is actually the one who issued the quest. Thanks for driving off the two Kezu hunter. Yep, it is safe. So, yeah, if you continue doing uh, quests, the Cowardly Feline will actually come and say, Hey, I have missions for you. So that's pretty cool. Also, I probably should get my items back. And put a lot of items away. Look at them all. Even some ammo and uh, coatings. That's pretty cool. We really need to get more, um... <laughs> we really need more Mega Potions. I mean, I could make some if I wanted. I could just come down here and be like this. But I don't know if I want to go through all that trouble. We only got 20... Honey or so, so... It's not a lot. Eh, yeah, we'll make some. Why not? And we don't got any adamant seeds. We really need to get some of those. Eh, well, why not? Hot meat. Cool drink. And we also got well done, or excuse me, uh, chilled meat. Poison smoke bomb. I was down here for a reason. I don't remember why, though. Oh, yeah. We were going to, um... Go catch some fish. Yay. Alright. Small golden fish catcher activated. There we go. Look at all of them. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
On to the next one. Arowana catcher. Okay. There we go. Got all three of them again. Yay! If we're lucky, we'll find another Plesioth. I mean, it's rare, but you never know. Actually, Monster Hunter... Eh, I thought we'd have luck. Oh, well. Okay, come on. There we go. Look at all those rewards. I wonder if there's anything in, um, uh, Hearth. Any missions we gotta do? Anything at all? No, there are none. Okay, what about in Valhabar? Absolutely nothing. Okay, what's our expedition? No treasure area, unstable environment, nothing too special. Um, gathering hall? Is there anything in here? Probably not. I mean, we do got that um, quest we got to do. Um, the urgent quest. Yeah, so we got to do the urgent quest. Hunt a Nerskilla. Um, I didn't do that yet. There are there is a, a guild quest we have yet to complete. Event quests we could do a few of them. Ooh, two frenzied Rathaloses. My ward. All right, and I guess we're gonna go back uh, to Cathar. Cathar is a really unique area because it's it's mainly and primarily run by Wyverians. I, I really think that's cool. Anything at all? We have 60 60k Zenny. That's that is nice. Maybe I'll get the uh, the book of combo. Yeah, book of combo four. The more book of combos you have, the better. Anyway, yeah, that was fun. I'm going to end the episode. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. before we end the episode, I do want to check a few more things. I don't want to end the episode too early, guys. I mean, there's stuff I want to do. I want to go to our, our Meowster Hunters, and I actually want to see if we can collect it. Hey, look at that. Ooh, nice. Saltus Queen and a Tetsukabra. Um, a, a Zenogre and a Starred Ketsukabra. I'll take that. Select the Polygos. I want to choose many different ones. Right there. That works. And let's depart. Alrighty, and is our... Our farms all done? Because if they are, that'd be nice. Two of them are fulfilled. Uh, the Dragon Toadstool is still, you know, finishing up. That's okay, though. We do need more honey. So. You know, actually, if I do one more quest, even if it's a simple one. Let's see, what can I do? Eh, Harvest Store, why not? Just wait at camp. I do like the music, it is nice. Ho ho ho, itching the harvest tour. Yep, definitely. I'll take the cool drink. We can just, you know, bring that back to camp. Come over to the veggie elder. Oh, never mind. I love all that lava down there, it's so cool. Maybe I'll prance. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I've been trying to prance after I finish quests and I haven't been able to. I can turn the HUD off. Can I, like, turn names off for Palicos? Maybe I can. I just need to figure out how. Um...
Online Palico messages, dialogue, okay, um, yeah, nothing, okay, looks like the names are going to be stuck on there, that is okay, though. You know, honestly, we could leave the Palicos back at base and only just have it be us, that's, that's an option, I don't like that, because I like getting extra health and extra support from Palicos, the veggie elder in the back is probably just like, what is this fool doing, he's literally prancing for no reason. Twenty-four seconds, okay. <sighs> it's one thirty in the morning. Wow. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. And there we go. Main objective completed, returning to the town in 20 seconds. Not bad at all. I do gotta set my alarm for a little bit earlier. Um, because it's gonna be a weekend, I'm, I'm gonna set it for 9 o'clock in the morning. I might wake up earlier, probably, but I'm okay with that. Alright, now all of the requests should be fulfilled at the, um, Wiporium. There we go. Multiply items, view inbox, look at all them. Two... One, one, not too many. Two, okay, and one. How many from here? Three, two, and two. Three, two, three. Okay, I'll take it. Now we also need honey. We need a lot of honey. Too bad there's no sale. I wish there was, but... Oh well. After five quests, it all should be done. And it's only costing 600, um... Caravan points. What ain't bad. Ain't bad at all. Anyway. Do I have any talismans being crafted or forged? No, I don't. Okay. Well, I am going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I may have the same armor next episode. I may not. I don't know. Um... If I don't, I'll explain the armor in the next episode. If I if I if I don't, then oh well. Anyway, I'll see you in the next episode. God bless.